All right, guys, today we are going to be doing an EDC breakdown and pocket dump. Now, on this video, I typically make my EDC like pocket checks and pocket dumps, kind of lengthy videos, but today I thought I would specifically relegate to the things that are actually in my pockets, not talking about the other things that also live on my everyday carry kind of setup, but strictly the pocket dump. So doing a very true, true to form, true to fashion, pocket check or pocket dump for an EDC video. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it and talk about the first piece. So the first piece for me has to be the Leatherman Charge Plus G10. Now this probably comes as no surprise to most people because I have been EDCing this guy for quite some time. You guys can see all the love and wear on this guy, but it is still one of my favorite Leathermans out there. And I really do wish that they would make more G10 handled or at least G10 outer handled knives or multi-tools I should say, because I think that that is something that Leatherman could do that would be an interest to a lot of people. However, this is a discontinued model and I I will say I'm no, not making any guarantees or promises here, but I definitely am looking at picking up the Leatherman Arc once it becomes more readily available and once it becomes more mainstream. So definitely want to check it out. I know that there are a bunch of kind of, you know, um, <clears throat> I know that there are a bunch of multi-tool enthusiast YouTube channels out there that are currently covering the arc and personally from what I see of the Leatherman arc I'm not like running out to buy one however I do think it is cool that they upgraded the steel of it from previously Leatherman's highest quality steel being S30V as you guys can see on this one to the uh, CPM Magna Cut I do think that's really cool but there are a few things that I'm not necessarily super ecstatic about one of them being that I really do like the old school style of having opening slots or holes so on Leatherman multi-tools especially you do a lot of cutting with them that is going to be right here on this back edge so when you have things like thumb studs that can make cutting or interfere with your ability to use the knife to cut things so anyways i won't dig too much into the leatherman arc because i don't have one to show but don't be surprised if one ends up on the list or in the edc rotation because it does seem like at this point in my opinion a valid enough upgrade to jump to as opposed to the free series i wasn't really excited about the free series so i never really jumped ship to get the free series um, but yeah so anyways moving on to the next piece uh, of my actual factual um, pocket chest smooth precision pens um, smooth precision pens pen or titanium pen now unfortunately for those who don't know smooth precision pens is going out of business or they are closing their operation i'm not entirely sure why i will say um, there are a number of really solid titanium pen offerings out there from other companies such as you know um gosh i'm trying to think of them tactile turn is one of them i'm trying to think of another one big idea designs there we go and so there are quite a few competitors out there but anyways i have these smooth precision pens pen or titanium pen and i really like it i have no issues with it and i thought that um, these were overall pretty cool um, pens i really like their action over uh, companies like uh, tactile turn but unfortunately they are closing their shop Anyways, moving on to the next few pieces of kit, we have, of course, my flashlight. Especially as it gets darker and darker, the flashlight is more and more important. And I do have other, several other flavors of Phoenix lights, but I usually end up coming back to my Phoenix LD30 because it just seems to be one of my favorite lights. Um, it just checks off a lot of boxes. It has, you know, good or decent output, and it has a really, really compact, you know, size, um, just that fits in my hand very well. And you guys can see, you know, very easy to just hold and it's not really a burden to carry. So I really do like the Phoenix LD30. I think it's just one of the hardest to beat flashlights out there. People ask me all the time, you know, like what is the best flashlight you can get? I really think the Phoenix LD30 is probably one of the best. That being said, Nightcore also does make some pretty good competitive offerings as well. All right, next one up is going to be the Zippo lighter. Now the Zippo lighter, this one's just a classic, you know, stainless steel or, you know, like stainless kind of body to it, you know, nothing too, too fancy as you guys can see there. 
it is just a little bit a um, little bit wet and just filled it up but it is a you know just functional lighter as per usual and i usually keep this little ranger band around it to try to help mitigate um, some of the fuel loss this is not perfect especially because oftentimes i find that this slides down so it's not a foolproof plan but it is good enough for me all right next one up is going to be the wallet now for me this is an open seas leather quick draw or sorry top sider quick draw so what that means is you have this little spot back here um, where you can carry cards and stuff like that i carry my ids back there typically just so that i have quick access to them whenever i need them but outside of that they're out of my way when i actually draw cards from the inside of the wallet as this wallet goes i really like it open seas leather is one of those companies that i feel like there's a lot of kind of hyped up companies um, you know a lot of uh, brands get pushed on the youtubes and open sea leathers has or open sea leather has been one of those that has you know gotten their name out there but genuinely i do believe that they actually make a really decent product and honestly when i see big name youtubers and others you know promoting open sea leather it definitely makes me happy because i would rather see open sea leather out there as opposed to ridge wallets um, where you know ridge is just basically rebranding cheap alibaba wabbit <laughs> alibaba wallets to you know push them out there for expensive prices whereas open sea leather is genuinely hand making these um, wallets out of you know horween leather which is very high quality very nice and yeah I, I have nothing but good to say about open sea leather wallets i've carried them for a long time and continue to carry them um, for the foreseeable future so i really like them once again there's a lot of big youtubers out there both edc and not edc that have promoted them but i do genuinely believe that open seas leather is a really quality top-notch company in my opinion i've like i said i've never had a product from them that i've been disappointed in all right moving on to the next and kind of final realistic thing actually before we get to this we'll talk about this guy very briefly this is my phone of course it lives in my pockets as well this is an apple iphone 12 pro max as you guys can probably tell by the color and by the um amount of cameras and stuff so nothing super fancy here but it's just a workhorse that just gets things done and that's really all i need all right so that covers most of it like i was trying to do and trying to trying to but failing to flip this knife open <laughs> this is the final piece to my pocket dump and this is an emerson bulldog i was actually pretty impressed by the amount of subscribers when i first kind of you know teased a photo of the bulldog out there i was impressed by the amount of subscribers that immediately knew what this was it was like nice emerson bulldog so i'm definitely uh, impressed and hats off to you guys i definitely know my crowd likes emerson's which is something that makes me happy because i know a lot of the conventional kind of you know edc um, snobs out there do not not like Emerson knives at all. They think they're cheap, low quality knives that still use 154 CM. So how can they still be good? But I'm here to tell you guys, um, you know, if you are a realistic user of your knife, um, the Emerson line of knives, whether it's the Bulldog, Commanders, Patriots, um, they're all really solid knives. Now I will say, you know, you do want to be mindful of the 154 CM. The 154 is not going to be the best at like salt water corrosion um, resistance, but you know, it's not a bad steel. It is an old steel, but it is very well proven as well. So anyways, like I was saying, this is the Emerson Bulldog and uh, I really like it. I think the Bulldog is a unique mix between the, you know, kind of Emerson Commander style handle or mini comm handle and a kind of mini CQC7 style blade. And this is the first Emerson in my collection that has a true flat ground blade. And so what I mean by this is most of my Emersons have what you'd consider a V grind. So that means you still have, you know, a grind on each side and the blade still comes to to a reasonably centered point and then your bevel is just on one side this is truthfully a full chisel ground knife so there's absolutely no work done on this half of the blade and all of the work is done on your show side so you know take that for what it's worth it definitely is eccentric it's definitely emerson styled but i think in the end it's actually a really cool product and i really have enjoyed carrying mine now another kind of last little tidbit to the emerson um, bulldog for me 
is that this one in particular is in their thunder wash or thunderstorm thunderstorm finish there we go um, and so basically what that is is a dlc on top of a stone wash so it's a stone washed blade that's been dlc coated for extra corrosion resistance and primarily appearance so i think it looks really cool this is my first one in or my first emerson in thunder wash or, sorry thunderstorm finish um, but it is really cool to see nonetheless. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at my realistic pocket, jump, pocket dump um, and hopefully you enjoyed uh, me going over all of this equipment. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.